Golf Spotlight. I'm Ralph Irvin here in the Golf Shop Studio, and today we are talking about improving your putting game and your putter. But before we get into this new technology, I ask you to click on the red subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss an episode of the Golf Spotlight. And comment down below, have you ever tried putting with anything but the stock shaft the club came with? Let us know. But now, let's talk shafts as we are joined by Fujikura Composites Technical Services Coordinator, Marshall Thompson. Marshall, thanks for joining us once again. Yeah, buddy, thanks for having me. And it's uh, always good to talk to you and uh, hoping, hoping everything's good in your world. It's good for me, but it's about to get a lot better for people on the putting greens because you've introduced the MC Putter Shaft this year. Give us a 30,000 foot overview. Yeah, so putter graphite putter shafts have become, you know, increasingly popular, you know, not only on the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour, um, you know, Corn Ferry, but, uh, you know, also for consumers as well. And, and again, I think this goes back to getting fit for, you know, all of your golf clubs and, and your putter isn't any different, right? You know, we they make specific launch monitors that, you can measure out certain things that you're doing on your stroke as far as closure rates, as far as loss, as far as roll. Also understanding the speed of the greens that you're playing on, maybe the type of grass that you're playing on. Because how many times have we played on different course conditions or different grass, something with grain on it, and we need the, the, the ball to, to roll properly. And, and us being a fitting company, it was a good avenue for us to – create some different profiles as far as the putter shafts go, but also, you know, allow consumers and tour pros to be fit and to, to make it more putts. I mean, that's, that's the name. That's how you're going to play better. I mean, you can drive for show, but you putt for dough and putting is no different than getting fit for your woods. And, and it's very important that you do get fit for a putter and, and having options available and, and seeing how you can roll it and seeing how, Maybe um, the face can stay more open, or maybe it's a closure rate or an acceleration. There's there's a lot of elements involved, and and having options available for the putter um, was a no brainer for us. The shafts use a combination of your rubber composite technology and metal composite technology to really increase feel. Yeah, so yeah, most people don't know that uh, Fujikura Composites we're a subsidiary of Fujikura Rubber. And so we are a rubber company overseas. And so what we were able to do, we were, we were able to co-cure rubber uh, full length um, within the, the, the carbon uh, fiber frame. You know, graphite in the past was used to dampen vibrations and allow for more feel. And that's what we found with putters that didn't have an insert. And so by adding the rubber composite technology, we're able to do that even further. Um, MCT, the metal composite technology that's in these is, is mainly used for weighting. So it's, it's helped to get these putters up to 115 grams, but also to help it hold swing weight because you don't want a putter that's too heavy on faster greens and too light on slower greens. So understanding your, your conditions and, and the grasses that you play around your home course, that's extremely important. And then, you know, that's why we wanted to offer you know, we're a fitting company, just like we are with the drivers in the woods. It's the same thing with putters. We're, we're offering three different types of bend profiles. So we have a, a smooth, we have a firm, and we have an extra firm. And they all vary in bending stiffness. And I'm not going to lie, if you pick up the smooth putter, you can, you can feel that the whole profile just, just move a little bit. And I, I remember I picked it up and it's like, man, this is a little gimmicky. You know, it, it, there's no way that I would ever use it. And of course I get on a Quintex system, which is used to, you know, measure all the, all the parameters, just like you would do in a driver fitting, but you know, more purpose for the putter. And I, I get on this thing and the smooth ended up working the best for me. It, it, it allowed my acceleration to slow down a little bit. And, and I tend to be, I tend to accelerate the putter head pretty quickly. And that's kind of my flaw. It's almost a little poppy. And um, I accelerated a little too quickly sometimes. And, you know, whether I knew it or not, having the smooth uh, MC putter shaft in there, and maybe I was waiting for it a little bit just because I felt it moving a little bit, but it slowed down my acceleration. It actually kept the face a little bit more open at impact, which is good for me because I tend to close everything. So I was kind of blown away at the smooth thinking there's no way I would ever use this thing. And now it's, 
it's in the bag. Um, you know, I'm not playing as much golf as I would like to, but uh, at least I have a little bit more confidence in knowing that, Hey, the, the ball is going to be starting a little bit more online because going through the fitting process, the smooth allowed that face to stay just a little bit more stable. Plus the smooth also has the lowest torque of the three. So that's kind of the, the, the other added benefit of these MC putter shafts is yes, they come in three bend profiles, but they also have extremely low torque. And the smooth, I think, runs at a, about 1.3 degrees of torque and the firm and the extra firm at a, about 1.6. And that just minimizes some twisting and it keeps the club head more stable through impact. And um, so I was kind of blown away at the smooth, you know, and then if, if you're enjoying the feel of, of steel right now, the bend profile of steel, that's where the firm will kind of match that steel profile however you're getting lower torque it's not going to twist as much through impact more stability for the putter club head and then there's players out there that don't want to feel any movement right and that's again that's attributed to uh, an individual's personal feel I, it's like you know so why do some players on tour use a piece of rebar for a driver and some of them use a rubber hose it's what feels good to them they maybe they feel it load in a certain way so we have that extra firm shaft that you won't feel any movement whatsoever. It still provides incredible feel because you have the graphite, you've got the rubber composite technology, which is dampening those vibrations, but you have no movement whatsoever in the head. And I think the extra firm is coming in about 100 and, 120 to 150 cycles stiffer than anything on the market right now. Um, so we've got three great options that you've got to go and you've got to go through the fitting process because you need to find one, a putter that works well for you. Maybe you're a blade guy. Maybe you're a mallet guy. Maybe you're a face balance. Maybe you're a toe hang. There's a lot of elements that come in just from the club head side, but then matching up a feel of a shaft and then getting something that has incredible feel and low torque and, and control of the club face. I mean, it's a no brainer for us to, to have putter shafts uh, available for, you know, consumers and tour pros in the marketplace. If folks want more information on the MC putter shafts or anything from Fujikura, where should they go? FujikuraGolf.com. You can go in there. You can do some research. We provide specs. We provide some, I believe there's maybe some uh, EI profiles up so you can see some differences between, you know, the three profiles. And, you know, if you're at all curious, just like we all are, right, we're, we're tinkering. And I would say most people probably tinker with the putter more often than any other club in their bag because it's easy to lose confidence with it but you know go go to a charter dealer of ours uh, and, and go get fit find the right club find the right shaft find something that feels well uh and then take it out of the course and give it some tries and i guarantee you'll have more consistency more success and uh, increased feel and and better role with with these three putter shafts marshall thanks for taking the time to join us once again of course we want to thank marshall thompson for joining us here on the golf spotlight of course, Fujikura also introduced an all-new line of Vista Pro shafts for 2021, and we broke those down earlier this year. You should definitely check that out. Once again, please click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss one of our exclusive features. Have a question? Leave a comment down below. We always reply. Follow us on Twitter at Golf Spotlight. Get the latest from us on Instagram at The Golf Spotlight and listen to The Range Podcast, where we do deep dives into your favorites in golf by talking to the men and women behind their creation. Finally, we want to thank you for joining us here on The Golf Spotlight as we continue to give you the information that you need for your next golf purchase.